हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू दि मल्टी मैजिस् चानल सो इन दि लास्ट वीडियो वी हेव गॉन थ्रू हाउ टू पुश एन एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन इन टू ए प्ले स्टोर फॉर इंटरनल टेस्टिंग वी हेव गॉन थ्रू ऑल दि हई लेवल डीटेल इनवाल इन इट इफ यू हेव एनी क्वेश्चन एंड क्वारी ऑन दट वीडियो इन फैक्ट फॉर एनी अदर प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज डू मेन्शन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वी विल एड्रेस दम एज एर्ली एज पॉसिबल so now our intention is to build this mp4 to mp3 application for different platforms so we have built it for ubuntu and we have done it for android now it's a windows platform done so for this windows platform we have chosen a mfc application for simplicity but later we will move on to the react native windows uh, for now we will just go through how to build a simple mfc app and how to integrate the ffmpeg Uh, to the project to to convert an MP4 file into an MP3 file. So let's get started on all these dependencies. Uh, actually, unlike in Ubuntu and Android case, we have downloaded the FFmpeg from this source and we have generated all the libraries and headers from the source. But for Windows, we have faced few issues. Uh, we would like to address them in the next layer. But for now, we have downloaded the pre-built libraries and the headers that is mentioned in the zip file, latest Windows 64 share dot gp uh, dot zip file. So I, I will just show you that how that zip file looks. Okay, so you can just open this and then you can go here. Yeah. So this is our project. So all the binaries, uh, these are all pre-generated and we downloaded from that zip file. and these are all the headers and these are all the libraries and we will be using this in our mfc app so i i to start you need to install the visual studio i am using visual studio 2022 version uh so this is the community version so we don't need any license so i will just quickly go through how to create a basic mfc dialog application you go to the file new project and then you select the mfc here and then you select this app here and then just click next and then you just click create so now these are the options so you need to be very careful with this application type so this should be a dialog based uh, so this will create a simple dialog view for an mfc application and you can just drag and drop all the widgets you needed that will be specified in the toolbox so once i will quickly show you that once the once this is created so the project is created there you go here is the simple mfc dialog box i don't need these buttons so if you want to add any widgets like text tabs radio buttons you can just simply drag and drag and drop and it will generate the code for you automatically so this is my simple button and these are the button properties button name button id all the other details are mentioned here and you can change the properties according to your needs and also you can create a handler for this button means if you double click this button you can this is the handler for the button on click button so we will be writing our back end functionality here on clicking that button what happens so now i have already have the code code source code ready with me so i'll quickly go through what we done so as mentioned i just created an mp4 file a uh, button and select mp4 file so this is of that type this is the caption for it and this is the type so what happens if a user clicks on this button so what we are doing so let's go there so upon clicking this button i am telling to open a dialog box a windows dialog box and you can select an mp4 file so i'm just checking if if i am selecting an mp4 file then only you just process it or else just ignore that file so once that is mp4 file is selected i am getting the path of it and then i i am sending that path to this function called process mp4 file and after after the process is done i am displaying a pop up okay mp4 is converted to an mp3 so what is there in the process mp4 so this actually extracts audio from your mp4 file so so if you go here so this will show it will so this is the source code so this is you can take the video path and this is the timestamp and this is the output path and you come here you declare all the 
data structures needed to store your audio frames and video frames typically audio frames and you open the input file and then you open the output file you declare all the specs inside it and then finally you just read that audio buffer and then just write it into a output file using the decoder and the encoder so this is the basic uh, our code this is the same source code we have used in Ubuntu there is nothing new here so before running this app we need to ensure in this project all the FFmpeg headers and libraries are included so for example uh, uh, this is the pro uh, project and if you go to properties and if you go to gen C++ if you go to general you can see here all the directories where are my FFmpeg I need to mention here so for simplicity point of view I have maintained all the FFmpeg dependencies inside the source code at a high level so this is my actual code structure and in the dependencies I have mentioned all the dependencies so it will be easy for you to maintain the dependencies so now all the includes are mentioned here and you also you need to mention the headers and uh, sorry linkers so the linkers see these are the additional library directories we need to mention here multi magics dependence ffmpeg leap and also you need to mention the list of the libraries you will be using so here you need to mention all the details here like which libraries library names like i'm using this libraries a dll av filter av format av util so all the details you need to mention here and also please do remember after building this application uh, with all the dependencies involved you will be generating you will be getting a file called x64 debug and basically you need to copy these dlls also before running your app because uh, whatever libraries we mentioned so those will be pointing to the dependencies mentioned here like ffmpeg libraries and this so these these static libraries depends on this so to solve the path issues all those things you can just simply go to this uh, debug folder and then paste all the uh, uh, dlls here so that's how you link it you you link the ffmpeg dependencies to this project and then you can start now let's quickly build it so I am so build is there it's going on there you go so an mp4 file widget came so the background images and logos we will enhance it later so let's quickly look at the functionality point of view I select the mp4 file this is the positive is the mp4 file and then now okay there is a breakpoint here so I can just remove here and then you can just click continue okay the mp4 file is converted to mp3 file and it is in the downloads folder so let's check if it is actually there in the downloads folder there you go so this is the file and there's a timestamp so let me quickly play I hope the desktop audio is there you okay it's a very good so I hope you heard but if you didn't hurt please don't mind maybe desktop order is not connected if you heard that's great so the mp4 file is select converted into an mp3 file using a simple mfc application so all you need to take care is you need to download the ffmpeg headers and libraries and you need to include this in the project and for the simplicity point of view we just use this simple dialog box and then you can just uh, keep on improving this app using different themes and different background images and different buttons and different options so all these will be doing in the coming videos and we'll be uploading those soon mm, so I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any questions or if you have any queries on the previous videos please do reach us thank you for all the, for all your support take care bye bye